The stage is set for the culmination of four amazing days here at the 125th um, Crafts Dog Show. My lords, ladies and gentlemen, we are delighted to welcome you all to Crafts Best in Show 2016. The superb fanfare from the Royal Marines announces the beginning of tonight's final. This is Crufts Best in Show 2016. So entering the ring now, tonight's best in show judge, Derek Smith. He's a collie man. Judged the pastoral group at Crufts 2002 and the working group in 2004. Was recently awarded a Lifetime Achievement Award by the British Collie Club in 2015 for services to the breed. He takes centre stage now to judge our seven group finalists. So now we welcome the first of the seven. They were judged here. And the here comes the first from the, the utility group. This is champion Lonsdale's, Lonsdale's genuine. Belonging to Dale Francis and Gary Pierce, handled by Dale in the ring tonight. The little German Spitz Klein. That was our utility group winner judged on Thursday. And also judged on Thursday was the toy group. And this is champion Yaki Ua Cantona. Eric, six years old, belongs to Albert Easton and Philip Martin. Famous Pekingese breeding fame. It's a long way round, Handled by Bert in the ring. Little Eric making his way round the Crufts best in show ring. And now, it really was a fabulous Friday. Unbelievable crowds and unbelievable atmosphere. The Diara Smith judged the Gundog group, and this was her winner, the Gordon Setter, show champion Lordes Fulcrum, Junior Warrant. James, owned by David Alcorn, David Crowther, Josie Badley, and Fiona Swan. Two groups were judged here yesterday. Here's the first of those two. The first of Friday's groups was the working group, judged by Carrie Yarvinen. And this was the winner, a huge cheer for the Bouvier des Flandres, champion Lisport, Lord of the Rings, Hector. Breed judge was Frank Kane, owned by Fiona Lambert and handled by Michael Craig. The winner of the pastoral group, it is the Border Collie. The second group on Saturday was the pastoral group, the Border Collie, the winner, champion Sismaro, cold as ice. Belongs to Sylvia Adelsberger, and they came all the way from Germany to compete here. The Border Collie. As you have seen tonight, the winner of the Terrier Group, the West Highland White. 
the delightful winner, winner of the Terrier group from earlier on this evening. This is champion Bernie's Geordie girl, just 20 months old, this little West Highland White Terrier. Belongs to mother and daughter team Marie and Anne Burns. Marie handling in the ring. It's another that's got a long way to go, isn't it? The, West the little Westie, they were judged by Dan Erickson earlier on this evening. And now we welcome the last of our group winners from the Hound Group, judged by Jeff Horswell. A huge cheer for the Whippet. Champion, nothing compares to you at Crosscrop. Hazel, owned by Lee Morris, George Waddle and Charlie Donaldson. Charlie handling in the ring. So we have our seven group winners. Derek Smith, the judge, taking his first look at them. And behind each of those group winners is the judge who sent them forwards. So there we've got Mary Dietz, who judged the utility group. And the little German Spitz Klein she sent through. The Pekingese from the toy group with Val Bloor, the toy group judge. Di Arrowsmith and the Gordon Setter from the Gun Dog Group. The spectacular Bouvier de Flandre sent through by Carrie Yarvenen from the Working Group. The Border Collie, the pastoral group winner under my co-commentator Frank Kane, who will be joining me shortly. The gorgeous little West Highland White Terrier sent through earlier this evening. And the last of our seven, the Whippet. A gorgeous shot there of the first of our group winners. The little German Spitz Klein. This is champion Longsdale's Jen Yuen, six years old, known as Jen at home, with Dale Francis and Gary Pierce. Typical Spitz, and one of great quality, this. Dale and Francis describe Jen as a dream dog who likes to make herself heard, as most Spitz do, one in a million. And Frank Kane's just joined me from the main ring. What do you think to Jen? Well, she's a wonderful, wonderful example of the breed. Short and compact, Spitz-like in every detail. And not remotely phased by the big ring. Derek Smith taking a look at her expression. That's the German Spitz Klein from the utility group. This brisk parallel action in front. Now the second of our group winners sent through from the toy group, the Pekingese, Eric, six years old. Bert Easton and Philip Martin such a spectacular team with Pekingese breeding. Well, they've had a best in show with the Pekingese in the past and reserve best in show, so they've got something to emulate here. And Eric's the breed record holder with 60 challenge certificates. We just see the judge picking him up there. They should pick up heavy for their size. A lot of substance, particularly in the forehand of the dog, lighter in the hind quarters. And Pekingese, under all that fur, need to have a waist, don't they? They do, they have to have a shapely body, and they shouldn't have too much fur. It should just coat the body, and should, you should be able to see the body shape in it. And that distinctive rolling action, which the breed has to have. Delightful black mask, too, which accentuates the expression of a super little dog. Now we move on. So the one group here There's the Pekingese the roll. Friday. Of course, the largest of all the groups. The Gun Dog group the winner. Dog this is the Gordon Setter, show champion Lourdes Fulcrum. Four and a half years Dash. old. Judged in the breed by Sue She's Mitchell, sent forward by Di Arrowsmith from the Gun Dog group. This is a dog, 
The heaviest of the setter breeds, the Gordon Setter, comes from the Duke of Gordon's estate in Scotland, and uh, it's rather fitting that this dog does come from Scotland with his handler here. This black and tan, the flat bladed bone, deep chest, wellspring ribs, and this lovely noble head. The tan markings in all the right places. And of course, as with all gun dogs, we expect ground covering movement. And the lashing tail action of all the Sessa breeds. They're stylish workers, and this one in fit working condition. As we can see in that uh, driving, forceful music and long stride. A smile from Derek Smith there. The Gordon Setter. Now the first of the two groups from Super Saturday. Karen Crofts, the working group. Now the working group winner, Frank, you judge this one. This is champion Lisport Lord of the Rings. Yes, a uh, spectacular show dog, um, a big winner in the breed, and on the day I judged them, his sister was the best bitch, so it was a brother and sister act. Here is the Dutch breed, um, powerful, strong skull, shorter in the muzzle. They have to be robust working dogs with strong temperaments, that thick matte coat, dense and weatherproof. Underneath that, there's a cylindrical rib cage, strong bone and strong feet. Fiona they Lambert, uh, Hector's owner, describes him as an absolute clown, which makes him very popular <laughs> in the show community. It He's had the most fantastic success. Oh. Group one wins in 2015 at Boston, at Bath, Blackpool, Leeds, Richmond, Windsor. I mean, what a list. And uh, holding his top line, a slight slope from the withers down to the root of the tail, which is typical and required in the breed. Highly intelligent, good guard dogs, good tracking dogs, uh, intelligent. They need a job of work to see them at their best. A dog on form and beautifully handled tonight. And now, now so from the pastoral group, group the Border Collie, champion Simaro Colder's Ice. Judged in the breed by Jeff Luscott, but I believe you had to step in, Frank, as the referee because the two judges for Dogs and Bitches couldn't agree. Yes, I was uh, and chose this dog. I thought him a beautiful example of the breed. And not only standing still, he stands four square on good legs and feet. Absolutely unexaggerated, functional, and when he moves, he's got absolute typical collie, uh, border collie gait and movement. And a wonderful head carriage. They drop, they drop their head low on the move. As we see, they're just dropping to give that stealthy movement, which is so typical and required of the breed. And this good ground covering stride, lovely top line with a slight curve over the hind quarters. Absolutely correct for the breed. And of course, Derek Smith, a collie man, very much appreciating that. The border collie. Developed in the border regions of this country, but this one came from Germany to compete this year. Now, the first of our groups from this evening, I absolutely love this dog in the Terrier group, the little West Highland White Terrier bitch, only 20 months old, champion Bernie's Geordie Girl. Yes, she's uh, been a prolific winner since she was a puppy, became a champion just at 13 months of age. She is a beautiful specimen of the breed, ideal model, short-backed, tail set bang on top, like shaped like a little character, this wonderful broad skull, dark pigmentation to set off its uh, eyes and lovely twinkling eyes and expression. We frequently talk about balance in show dogs, and this is such a typical example. There's nothing you change in the way that little dog is made. She moves beautifully, she stands absolutely perfect. I think she's gorgeous. And she's got this crisp white coat, which is uh, required in a lot of the terrier breeds. No, she's had a long day. There were over 200 Westies here, and she defeated that, won the group tonight, and now here she is again competing for the ultimate prize, best in show. And, of course, still a youngster. Now the last of our group winners, this is the Hound Group winner, again has come hot foot from her group. Two years old, this is champion, nothing compares to you at Crosscop, Hazel. Now, the flowing sleek lines of the Whippet, 
They should be built on curving lines over the neck and shoulders, over the croup, the judge just running his hands down the shoulder and bone. And this was top puppy in 2014, top whippet in 2015, so quite a show track record. And a good start for 2016, winning a <laughs> huge entry. I don't about. think you could get a better start, could you? Uh, and a beautiful daisy cutting action in front. They have to be smooth, far reaching, and maintain their shape on the move. Now she's completely unfazed from just having competed in the group, fresh and full of running. This lovely, clean, parallel action, striding out well, and those curving lines which typify the sight hands. The Whippet, the last of our seven finalists, sent through from the Hound Group. She's come down from Lockerbie in near Dumfries. Now Derek Smith, having had a chance to go over these seven, and see them moving. He's got a quality line up there, hasn't he? Yes, and look at look at that Westies outline, and a very lovely outline on the on the whippet too. Beautiful example of their breeds. I think Derek will move them again now. Yes, there goes the little German Spitz Klein. And, and this is where the judges are looking for not only type, they should all be fairly close to perfection for their breed, but the performance, the X factor, which will lift them to take this prize above the other six contestants. And of course, that's particularly difficult for those who've just competed. Mm. It's quite warm and tiring for them, isn't it, working yeah, in the group ring? And it's hot under those, look at that attentive little German Spitz. She's lovely, devoted to her owner. They're from Middlesbrough, of highly successful breeders. Little Jen, the German Spitz Klein. The winner, the and Eric, the Pekingese. The record holder for the breed in recent years. And he too comes down from Scotland, so it's a... joins the, the Whippet. <laughs> that black mask with those little button eyes watching Bert every step of the yeah. way. High set tail, unfazed by the big ring. And now the, gun dog group the gun dog group winner, the Gordon Setter. Big round of applause from the crowd. And a good moving dog, noble head, and that stylish lashing tail a beautiful mover and here we see the working group winner go again the bouvier de flandre all power in that body and another one who loves the big ring he's loved thriving on this atmosphere this is where his clownish temperament serves him well in this uh, in the big arenas Tail wagging the whole time. And your pastoral group winner, the Border yes, Collie. Goes. Look at the head carriage, low, stealthy movement, the shape held on the move. He's so well built, this dog, he can't stand wrong. Always balanced. The sign of balance is that top line held in movement. And a little westy bit. Just looking round at the crowds there. So, I've never been in anywhere as big as this, Mum, she's saying. Marie Burns, she comes from Bishop Auckland, County Durham. She's uh, bred several champions. Beautiful black pigment on that white face. Such a wonderful expression, such balance in that little dog. And that top line, perfection. And and another chance to see the lovely, graceful Whippet. Her handler sensibly giving her the space to move. All curves in her outline, which is how the breed should be. There's no straight lines in the Whippet.
Still a relatively young bitch. Now the the boards are coming out. Tense moments, a last look before he decides who will take the glittering prize of Best in Shirt Crafts 2016. Yes, the last few seconds, 22,000, more than 22,000 dogs whittled down to seven. And now we're going to find out who will take the crown, that massive Kettle Memorial Trophy for 2016. Do you have a tip? Well, it's tough. Uh, we, we'd have to be in Derek's mind, wouldn't you know what he's <laughs> thinking? <laughs> Standing back and taking in the outlines of them all. Look at that for alertness and expression. A magnificent seven, truly, they really are. But who's it going to be? <gasps> the little Westy oh. takes best in oh. show for 2016. What a fantastic win. Little Geordie girl from Bishop Auckland, County Durham, is best in show at Crufts. Wonderful. Her first group win. Oh, that's marvellous for Marie Burns. Uh, she's uh, under two years old and she's topped the lot, but with such a superb performance, a well-deserved win. She did not put a foot wrong. And the Whippet's going into reserve. It's the Whippet who has reserved best in show. So our two group winners from tonight have taken the top spot and reserve. Yes, oh, what a ma oh Marie Byrne should be able so not she's so unaffected, so modest as a breeder. That's a marvellous win for oh, her. Oh bless her, look at the tears. Uh, she's uh, overwhelmed as she should be. What a stunning achievement. She's a hobby breeder, breeds them just uh, as pets. They live her dogs live as companions in the house. That's wonderful, wonderful for her. So now we have the presentation. There she is. The little West Highland White Terrier, proud owner, and look at the size of that trophy. Mr. Matthias Schiller, Managing Director Europe Spectrum Brands, Yukon Yuba, is presenting the trophy, escorted in by Simon Luxmore. Marie and her mother, will Anne, will be watching at, at home, I'm sure. And, um, what a day, yeah. Um. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the most beautiful West Highland Terrier has won Crufts Best in Show this year. Isn't she just divine? Excuse me, I'm so sorry. Marie Burns, her owner, her breeder, her handler, what would you like to say about this moment? Am I dreaming? <laughs> You are not dreaming, this is real, she's done it. Absolutely amazing, honestly can't believe it. I mean, you just can't find the words to describe how I feel. It's just amazing. Thank you to everybody that made it happen. Yeah, well talk about her then. Tell us about Devon and why she is special. Um, do you know what? When she was a very small puppy, about eight, nine weeks old, um, you don't normally say to people, oh, I've got a nice puppy at home, but I actually did to a friend and said, I think I've got the nicest Westie I've ever bred here. And I just can't. I mean, to win Best in Show Crufts is absolutely amazing. <laughs> you haven't just got the best Westie you've ever bred. You've got the best Westie this place has seen since 1990. It's the first Westie to have won in 26 years. It's a fantastic result. She is so special. But I also want to say congratulations to Charlie Donaldson, who's got reserve best in show with her beautiful Whippet Hazel. Charlie is only 19 years old. She's the youngest handler that we saw in best in show. And how proud are you of your girl here? So proud, honestly. The words can't describe how much this means. So proud. <laughs> you, you sat, you're shaking a bit now, aren't you? Was it, was it really nerve-wracking? Yeah, so, like, there's so many eyes on you. And you just, you just have to concentrate on the dog and not let your nerves get to it, so... 
Brilliant stuff. Well, listen, all eyes on you, but also on our winner, our best in show for crafts this year. It is the West Highland Terrier. It is Devon. So we have our best in show winner for 2016, the little West Highland White Terrier. A spectacular win, both for the breed and for the owner. Still unfazed and standing like a little model there. Wonderful alertness, great show temperament, loving it all. Well, and Derek Smith with a huge smile on his face having put such a super dog forwards to take best in show this year. Lovely shots of that typical little westy head, such a cheeky character and those neat little ears, absolutely beautiful. The crowd joining in. And here goes the lap of honour for Crufts best in show, the little West Highland wet ter White Terrier, Devon. Still wagging her tail, still, still putting in a performance after all that. Strutting her stuff, wonderful. And you can see the ropes there because they're about to let the press in and uh, There'll be an awful lot of people there wanting to get photographs of this event. Congratulations to our West Highland White Terrier, the champion Bernese Geordie Girl. It was a super lineup, seven fantastic group winners. I think we'd have been happy if any of them would have taken and, the top and spot, the, wouldn't we? The uh, Victor's Day in, in Britain. Uh, um, against strong competition from overseas. But something very special about that little Westie. <laughs> best in show and reserve best in show there, of course, the Whippet. And of course, the photographs being taken by the press here, you'll see all over the front pages of the papers tomorrow morning. Something I'm sure both Marie and her mother, Anne Burns, will never forget. Uh, this will be uh, pictures on the mantelpiece, I'm sure, for years to come. And they were the only two bitches in the lineup, and they've 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 conquered. That's a, 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 yes, girl girl power there. Yes. And it has been a fantastic year, hasn't it? Yes, an, an exciting cruff. So we've had some surprises and some shocks, but a triumph at the end for a, a young a young star. She's 
great promise from being a youngster and now the, the pinnacle of success. I think it's just about the best bit thing about Crofts, isn't it? You never know what's going to happen. There are always highs and lows, yeah. but the highs have been fabulous this year. We had seven superb group winners competing this evening, and what a winner. Well, it's time for us to sign off now. Thank you to Frank Kane for joining us this evening and to you. We've had a fabulous, fabulous crafts. Four days of non-stop action, non-stop showing and event. It's been superb and a wonderful Best in Show winner. We'll be back next year for Crufts 2017, 9th to the 12th of March. Um, exclusive behind the scenes videos are available now on YouTube and it's completely free. You, all you have to do is subscribe at www.youtube.com forward slash crafts. I hope you'll join us again next year. We'll certainly be here. Bye bye.